What's good, what's good? This your boy DJ Cree back with another video, man. Your boy Cat Williams has been a prophet all 2024. Now 2025, I guess he's ready to become idolized and a prophet once again. But let's remind you of some of the stuff he had to say. Y'all check out this video. I'll come back with some commentary. Any be wanting the body, and you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, them so I need, freely. Kid, kid, I need, kid, I need another one. You here? Get you another one. Thank you, sir. Kid. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being. Can't. You canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they <laughs> did to get there. <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> 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 and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. Now, along with that old video footage, uh, he comes back and he's ready to spill even more tea with SNL and just going on his normal rampage and letting people know he's out to destroy his enemies. Y'all check this video out. I'll come back with some commentary. I'm anti-establishment, so I can never be the establishment. You know what I mean? Like, even if I'm at the Diddy party, I'm there to tell. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm there to see who the fuck is in here and what do y'all get from being in here? So nobody likes to have me around. <laughs> I'm there for bad intentions. I want to uh, bring up, let's, I have a, a bunch of clips from stand-up, but since you brought that up, I'll go with that direction first. So um, Don't blame me. No, I'm not blaming you. I'm just following your lead. So Don't follow my lead. So specifically, you, had a, you, you told us that was going to be your role in our culture from way back in Pimp Chronicles. Con Pimp Chronicles can play clip number six. They be having these big ass mansion parties and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited than a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit. So that's what you're talking about? <laughs> no. And look, this is what this is what the people that love me are going to love. Like even in the situations where I'm in those situations, like for example this one. Like this doesn't happen at Diddy's house. This is at somebody else's house, mm -hmm. right? So, it's like 11 o'clock noon. This party going to be at 8, 9 o'clock. You follow yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm there throughout the day. I'm, I know this is just a regular house. Like, there's nothing special to this house. And then the specialness happens, and I'm there. And I know I got to leave. But I ain't got to leave before I see who comes. <laughs> because that's my job as a reporter to the people. And I said coming in that that's what I was going to do. I was going to be an unbiased reporter. There has never been a person that has been parodied nine times on Saturday Night Live and yet never been invited other than me. Hmm. So I, at this point, take it as a badge of honor um, that they don't fuck with me. Um, in general, what do you think of impressions of you? Is there an impression of you that you like? 
a lot of times when people are doing an impression of you, they're really showing you how they feel about you. Mm. You know what I mean? So for a Saturday Night Live to have an impression of me and have a woman do that means they think I'm a bitch. And I understand that that's what they're saying when they do that, you know? So, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Mm -hmm. I understand um, how the game goes. And I understand that if you love me, I know why you do. And if you don't fuck with me, I understand why. Mm -hmm. My job is to be worthy. Even though Cat Williams had some disparaging things to say about, you know, people like Steve Harvey, you know what I'm saying? People like Ludacris, just Kevin Hart, just a lot of people. Um, I do think he was telling his truth. I do think he was telling his truth. And it seems like in 2025, he's going to continue to tell things that are relevant. And he has been one of the people uh, coming out about those Diddy parties and things like that. So, you know, we only could see what is face value right now. And I think that he is on a mission to expose some of those people, one who did him wrong, and expose Hollywood, a.k.a. Hollywood, weird for what it is. So... I'm going to sit back and eat my popcorn and enjoy my time when Cat Williams reappears and just comes out full throttle blasting at folks. Y'all stay tuned, but what do y'all think of the job Cat Williams has done so far? Uh, do y'all agree? And is he talking about one of your favorite comedians? Let me know. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. More content is on the way. Peace.